Okay, if you have made it this far, this is the big kahuna because now you are going to learn how to issue a badge based on the performance on a particular Moodle activity, more than likely on a quiz, but this could also be for a, an assignment. So, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it based on the performance of a quiz. So Mike Harris is the first one in the Hopkins Public Schools to pull this off because there are some ridiculous rules that you need to follow. follow. And um, yeah, it's not that intuitive, but I do have the list of the rules so we can handle it. So let's handle this together. So rule number one, you do have to, in your course, have completion tracking turned on. So if you go into your page settings by clicking on edit settings in your administration block, you are gonna notice that Mike Harris, physiology and anatomy teacher, has his completion tracking turned on. So that's step one. Now, if you followed my other videos, you've already done that and you don't need to do that again. So then the next thing you have to do is you do have to have um, completion turned on for the activity that is needed to be completed at a particular level in order to earn the badge. So Mike has a badge um, awarded to his students. So I'm gonna go into this unit of Mike's and he has a quiz in here that students would have had to performed at 90% or above to get the badge. So this is the quiz. And um, so if I go into the settings for the quiz, which if I turn editing on, I can click on the gear or I can just click on the name of the quiz and go into edit settings. That gets me to the same place. So what I want you to notice here is, if I scroll down to the bottom, I go to activity completion, and he set up activity completion so that, so that it is considered complete when a grade is received. Now, I acknowledge that there does, it doesn't have a field here for what the grade needs to be, that 90%. I bet that Moodle will release a version in the future that's gonna put that little criteria right in here and so we don't have to follow as many rules in the future. But right now, all you kinda have to do here is say, yep, they received a grade, but now we have to do some other things to define what the grade must be. This is where it gets a little bit goofy. Woo! All right, here we go. Now, when Mike and I first tried to distribute this based on 90% on this test, um, the very first time we tried that with a different quiz, it actually gave the badge to everybody, even if they got like an F on the test. Oh, and that was just so disappointing, but I did a lot of testing and figured out why. And it's weird, but it has to do with the review options set settings that you'll find in the quiz uh, settings. And um, this is confusing, and I'm not gonna get into them deeply. They're powerful, but not easy to understand. The main thing here is what are the students gonna see when they submit their quiz? And um, when this part here where it says immediately after the, the attempt, that's for the first two minutes after the student finishes. Um, personally, I think anything you check in here is fine. I think in the first two minutes, it might be a good idea that the students can see what is um, the correct answer and what's not the correct answer. But if you're worried about test integrity or students like using their cell phones to take pictures and send them out, it's fine that you don't mark all of these in here. But, but I think you do want to let the students see um, what they marked down is their answer and any of the feedback that you might have built into the, te the test based on, um, based on uh, the questions or the answers and um, whether it was correct or not, it's up to you and what is the actual right answer, it's up to you. However, later when the quiz is still open is after that two minute mark and I do know in order for the badge to issue, you do need to have the first two things checked. 
Now, if you indeed don't want the students to see anything having to do with the quiz later, you can eyeball the quiz shut on your home page, but make sure these two things are checked. Otherwise, um, the badge will go to everybody. I, I know that for a fact. All right, that's what you got to do here in the quiz settings. So I'm going to go down, save, and return to course. And then the next crazy thing that I need to tell you is that Moodle has a grade book. And you may not have known that because we use Infinite Campus for our grade book, but um, the grade book is kind of part of this process of defining the necessary grade for this to be uh, for the badge to be issued. So you do have to go into your course settings and activate the grade book. You're not going to use it for any other reason than to make the badges work. So um, you'll still use Infinite Campus, but you do need to activate the grade book. So in your course settings. You are going to click on appearance and you are going to change show gradebook to students to yes. That's a rule. And then we're going to save changes. So then you're going to go to the gradebook because this is where you define um, what the score is to earn the badge. So I'm going to go to the administration block and I'm going to click on grades. And then I'm going to find the graded item. And to do that, right now we just have a basic spreadsheet with names of students on the left and names of assignments running across the top. And none of the grades are showing here, but you can go to this pull down menu to see a list of all of the graded activities, which is under categories and items. I'm going to click on the simple view. Now, for this particular class, the graded item that is related to the badge is called the Delvo Sacker Memorial Tissue Lab exam. So you find that and then I'm going to two finger on my trackpad scroll to the far right. You want to make sure that it's not hidden. If you see a slash through this eyeball, that means that that doesn't mean that the that the exam is hidden on the home page. It means that it's hidden in the grade book. You don't want it hidden in the grade book. So take that slash off and then to define the grade needed to get the badge, you click on this gear and then you click on show more. This is a quiz that's out of 44 points and this field here called grade to pass is where you put in the points that are necessary to earn the badge. In this case it's 90 percent which is 40 out of 44. Alrighty, you can then go down and save changes. Now the last thing you're going to do is go into set up the badge criteria. So I'm going to click on my PNA short name up here to get me back to my home page. And then I can go in my administration block to get to the badges. So I'm going to take those open by hitting that triangle. And I'm going to manage the badges. And the badges that might create the badge that might create it was the bow badge. And this is um, where you're going to go in and manipulate the criteria. I just realized that he's given this out, so you're not going to be able to see it fully, but I think you're going to understand it. So you edit the settings by clicking on the gear and then you go to the criteria and the criteria is simply going to be that the student needs to complete the quiz, but it is going to be dependent on a score because of what you put in as the grade to pass in this particular uh, quiz in the grade book. If, if you follow those other rules, then you simply need to add it as the thing that needs to be completed. And then he also added manual issue because he, if he wanted to, he could manually issue it. It's any of the listed requirements, this one or this one, not all, because that would mean you'd have to manually do it and pass the exam. Um, so if you were doing this based on a test, you wouldn't have to have that manual issue role in there. You just need the activity completion and you need to follow those other rules, which I will list on the Moodle page as well. That's it.